Welcome to an afternoon in my life. I just got back from the grocery store. Look what I did. One for you to eat cookie dough and one for us to make cookies. And I got spinach to go in the bed. So that way I can eat more. Oh, and I got you a treat. I can cheer you up. We pass me the grapes. What would you like for dinner, Change. Okay, so we're trying to get this trim to fit into the bathtub and when you stick it straight like this, it fits, but it lays like this and we can't figure out how to put these together. Now we need to figure out how to do this. These don't even look like they would go together. Wait, okay, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Come here, give me the pieces. Now, if you have this. Give me the piece. We need to put two and two together of how this would go together. Let me have it. Let me use my brain for a second. You get that thing Come away from me. You... Come on. Okay, so we have these spots where my cat shredded the doorway and we need to fix them. Okay, this is very difficult. Perfect, that's good enough for now. I think I'm definitely gonna go back later and try to make it a lot better. But I think that's the best we're gonna get for right now. I think you're supposed to do like more than one coat anyways. And I don't know how to get my cat to stop doing this. He has no interest in like cat trees or like the styrofoam stuff or the cardboard stuff. So I don't even really know what to do. He's just done this in like so many places in the house. And it's so frustrating. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to sand it after because it's just the best that it's gonna look for right now. I definitely think I am gonna end up having to do two coats, but that is okay. It's really hard to try and get in this little cranny right here. On to the next spot. I don't feel like you can even see this spot right here, but it's because I painted over it just because I was tired of looking at it. But it definitely is here. She's here. All right. And it's also like all down the side right here, so. Also, this is like my first vlog style YouTube video, so let me know how y'all like it because that's how I want my channel to mostly be. I just wanted a couple of more chit chatty videos to start because I mean, we don't really know each other too well yet. Forgot to get the little side right here. I should probably be using a smaller paddle for this, but I don't have one. This is the smallest paddle that I have, so we're just working with what we got. Okay, so this is at the front door. It definitely isn't as bad as the other spots, but it's 
still not the best. I also feel like I should have added some water to this because she's kind of a little bit thick for what I want. Dang! Okay, that's how I'm supposed to be doing it. Now I've got a little bit of the hang of it. Plus, also keep in mind that this will be sanded. I'm gonna sand it afterwards. Ah! Low key though, I'm kinda killing this. My dad is so cute though, he uh, would tell all of his work friends how good I am at mudding, which I guess if you don't know, we renovated this house. So I learned a lot of how to do these things from that. And my dad helped with most of the renovations. So uh, he even lived here for a period of time while we were renovating. And yeah, he would brag to all of his little buddies about how good of a mudder his daughter was. Cute dad moment. Okay, that's how I'm gonna leave it and then we'll just sand that. That should be good for that part at least. We still have more to go. So now we have the fun part where he has quite literally destroyed the window. You see that? That's so, so bad. I don't even, that's so bad. Honestly, like if it wasn't too difficult, I would say just replace it, but we don't wanna get into all of that right now. Cause this is just wood filler, this isn't mud. Um, also, this is not a tutorial. So if you are looking for how to's on these things, you will not find it from me. Cause obviously I'm not a professional. <laughs> Other than replacing it, which I'm not doing. Oh my jeez. I'm gonna be sitting here sanding for forever whenever this dries. Best part is that I didn't even do it high enough. You probably should have gotten a bigger bucket of wood filler. All right, let me see if I can scoot you around so you can see me do this side. I'm not even sure how much you care to see, but I'm just testing out my angles. I'm new around here. I don't know what to do about this. The only thing that I know to do is a second coat and hope for the best. Cause that looks ratchet to Jesus, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. I need to stop touching it because I just keep making it worse. All right, we're gonna call that good enough. Now we have the other side, which isn't near as bad. So you can't even see it on this other side, but I can. We should have gotten a bigger thing of this stuff because it's almost out. We have another window and more doorways, so. All right, damn it. You know what I really want for dinner? Zexpeers. Look at that monstrosity. These blinds are also broken from the cat. <laughs> Why do you think he does this? Because he's fucking terrible. You think it feels good on his claws? Ooh, that one was quick and easy. All right, we're gonna stop while we're ahead. Okay, that's all of that that I'm gonna do for right now because it's all I wanna do. I need to get a sanding block so that I can sand that down before I can paint the trim back. But we did get a little quart of the trim color paint. Nobody knows it. We're gonna see how well the dogs do. No, ma'am. Sit. No, ma'am. Sit. Guys, wait. 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 Take it. Go, girl. Go, boy. Oh my god. Okay, so they were not that good today. No, <laughs> you are the address. Okay, so we ended up going to Zoxby's for dinner, but we sat in a parking lot and ate it, so. But anyways, Coop is screaming at me and I don't know why. I learned 
learned recently that I entirely forgot how to floss with like regular floss and I can only do it with these. I'm not sure. Like obviously I didn't forget how to floss like fully but like I couldn't get any of my back teeth. And I feel like that's where the cavities are pretty bad. And I've been on quite the journey with my teeth and flossing is like not flossing is not an option. Lots of cavities for me. When I came home and changed after work, I realized that I forgot to put the iron on, so uh, that was not good. Okay, I use the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Cleanser. And I've been using that for like a really long time. It definitely hasn't like fully cleared up my acne, but I think that I have like some bigger acne issues. But it makes my skin really soft and I have oily skin and it doesn't like overly moisturize or anything. So that's good. I don't know. I just don't know of a different one that I would try out. I was looking at the Youth to the People one, that like green kale and spinach or whatever. But that one's expensive. I want to try a new one out because they say like, you know, whenever you're shampooing or washing your hair or whatever, they say that like your hair gets used to it and then you have to try another one or the benefits don't benefit. Well, I've been using this face wash for like over four years probably, so I just wonder if it's even benefiting my skin anymore or if my skin has just like gotten used to it. This though, I really do think that this helps my skin. This is the oil minimizing toner with salicylic acid from First Aid Beauty. Here's the thing. So I use mostly salicylic acid pro products for my acne because I've only tried one benzoyl peroxide product, but it broke me out so badly not in the way of like this acne in the way of like the tiny bumps so i think that like i might be allergic to it or maybe my skin is too sensitive for it but i just can't use it so i use all like i think that's a difference of aha and bha and i think that i use all bhas and benzoyl peroxide is an aha i don't know i used to be really well versed in like skincare and stuff and i did a lot of research into it but most of it's too expensive um and then this is just regular daily moisturizing lotion. I need to go back to a gel one because my skin is just so oily. I do think that that has a lot to do with like me breaking out. It's just like how greasy my skin is. But there isn't really particularly anything that I can do about that except for using stuff like the oil minimizing toner and like gel moisturizers. But I don't like to just throw out a product that I haven't used. So I want to finish this up first and it's not even halfway so we've got a while to go and then this is bag bomb i've been using bag bomb literally since i was a child my babysitter when i was younger used it for literally everything and in the winter time around my nose right here gets so dry and crusty like to the point where it hurts because i blow my nose so much like my nose runs non-stop in the winter time and then i've also been putting it right here because it's been getting dry for some reason and then i've been putting it in my eyebrows to see if it helps them grow now i have oily skin so i only do this at night time not in the morning put it where i need it kind of thing i also started using this adapling gel this one's from panoxo but i saw a girl on tiktok talk about it her dad is a dermatologist apparently and it essentially is a retinoid or retinol and it helps your skin turn over faster. So it's not like it's gonna get rid of the acne, but it's gonna make your skin turn over faster that way the acne isn't like staying all the time. And I'm putting it on after moisturizer because it's not supposed to go like everywhere. It's a pretty harsh serum, I think. So if I put my moisturizer on after it, then it ends up spreading it all over my face and I don't want that to happen. But I do feel like my face has been like clearing up ever since I've started using it. So we'll see if it ends up clearing all of it up because I'm getting tired of this. I know it's not like covering my entire face, but like it is constantly looking like this. As soon as one goes down, four more come up in its place. But anyways, thank you guys so much for spending the afternoon with me. Tomorrow's Friday, so I can't wait for the week to be over. Well, tomorrow's Friday for me. I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but. Thanks for hanging out with me. I think soon me, my sister-in-law, and my sister are gonna do a can't see, can't hear, can't talk Valentine's Day edition. And we're gonna make something from scratch instead of like a cake from like a box mix. So stay tuned for that. Have a good night, bye.